Hello. There. Welcome to the internet. Sorry about that. I was just remembering how long it used to take to download a video like this one from the internet. Today, internet use is at an all-time high, and the number of people with broadband internet access at work and at home is steadily increasing. This means that websites are no longer as limited by download speeds, and the possibilities for fully interactive multimedia content have increased as a result. Animation and video are now common parts of any website, and they take only seconds to download. So, you're probably an expert already at hopping on the internet, but what exactly are you using to do so? An application called a web browser. Web browsers are computer programs that were initially designed to display websites, but the current generation of web browsers can also display computer files, graphics, video, and animation. You're probably already familiar with some popular web browsers, such as Internet Explorer, Safari, or Firefox. And if your cell phone or other wireless device is capable of using the Wireless Access Protocol, or WAP, you can now also use that to access the internet wherever you go. Also, we now have greater online security, meaning that websites can now engage in e-commerce without having to worry so much about tech-savvy identity and money thieves. E-commerce is a simple term referring to buying and selling products on the internet. You've probably already visited websites like Amazon.com and eBay, where you can buy DVDs, shoes, shampoo, spatulas, tubas, small island nations. Well, not small island nations. But if you just want to learn about small island nations, that's easy enough. Go to a search engine and type in the name of the small island nation of your choice. Search engines are websites that you use to search the internet for any information. Type Tonga into Google.com, the most popular search engine on the web, and Google will pull up literally millions of pages discussing the small island nation of Tonga. You can find hotel information, history, information about the fabulous beaches, maybe even the small island nation's official website. You can also search for images or even video clips of Tonga. While you're searching for information on small island nations, though, you're not going to be learning a lot about the web, just small island nations. So we should go over some of the language you'll need to know as you use the web. There are many web terms that are useful to understand. Here are some common ones. In order to create websites that can be read on any machine anywhere, we need to use a common language. Most websites are written in a programming language called HTML, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language. HTML determines everything about how your web page looks, including how big the text is and what images are on screen. HTML is somewhat limited, so several additional components can be used in browsers to enhance our online experience. JavaScript is programming language that we can use with HTML to more easily create dynamic content. What's dynamic content? Anything fancier than text and graphics that visitors actually interact with. Have you ever filled out an online quiz? JavaScript may have been used to process your answers. Be careful not to confuse JavaScript with Java. Java is another programming language that is used to create many applications called applets. Applets work as part of web pages and browsers, enabling full applications to run on your computer. But unlike applications you install using CDs, your browser downloads applets automatically from the server. Flash 
is another popular tool used for creating cool animation and websites. Before you can see Flash on the internet, your browser might want you to download a plugin. That's a special program that gets used as part of your web browser. There are plugins to do all sorts of things. And in this case, we want the plugin that lets us read Flash files. You may have to go to the source site of the plugin you need, or it may be downloaded automatically. But once you have the plugin installed, your browser will be able to play games, animation, videos, or other applications that you want to use. Oh, that's another important term in animation, animated GIFs. What is an animated GIF? It's a simple animation that is created by putting together several GIF images, sort of like an old-fashioned flipbook. The problem with animated GIFs is that while they are easy to create, they can sometimes take a long time to download because of the many single images that make them up. These are only a few of the terms you're going to need to know as you get ready to make your web page. The funny thing about web design is that there's always more to learn. I bet you thought you sounded like an expert before, but wow, now you're a real pro.